हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ विल स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन यूनिट नंबर टू इनकम फ्रॉम फिक्स्ड इनकम सिक्योरिटीज फिक्स्ड इनकम सिक्योरिटीज एनालिसिस वैल्यूएशन एंड मैनेजमेंट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड यू द कंप्लीट प्रॉब्लम सेट इन द लिंक बिलो होप यू गॉट द प्रिंट आउट एंड हार्ड कॉपी ऑफ इट व्हेन यू see this lecture you must have the problem set in your hand so that you can be able to understand the problem you can be able to better understand the problem if you have the problems on hand right so okay we'll start the first problem a rupees 100 par value bond bearing a coupon rate of 12% will mature after 8 years the required rate of return on this bond is 14% what is the value of this bond i told you in this unit we have three types of problems the first type of problems are related to valuation of bond how to calculate the intrinsic value of the bond the second type of problems are concerned with returns calculating the returns on the bond and the last third and last type of problems are regarding calculation of duration right so we begin with valuation of bond the face value of the bond is 100 rupees coupon rate is 12% maturing after 8 years term to maturity is 8 years required rate of return is 14% and what is the value of the bond this is the problem so first problem number 1 The value of the bond is calculated by the following formula: V is equal to C into P V A F R percent N years plus M into P V F R percent N years. See, this is the formula for calculating the value of bond. This is the first problem in which we are calculating the value of bond. so here v is equal to where v is equal to present value of bond and this we have to find out c stands for annual coupon interest that is equal to it is given in the problem bearing a coupon interest of 12% so 12% of face value the face value is rupees 100 so 12% of 100 rupees is 12 then r is equal to required rate of return required rate of return that is given in the problem as 14% then we have n period to maturity that is given in the problem as 8 years pvaf is equal to present value of annuity factor present value of annuity factor pvf present value of rupee 1 that's it m is equal to maturity value that is equal to face value rupees 100 this is the first problem on calculating the value of bond so see carefully in the coming problems we are not going to write all these details assuming that you have understood all these details the first problem concentrate more so the value of the bond is calculated by the following formula v is equal to c into pvaf r percent for n years plus m pvf r percent n years now i will explain explain you v stands for present value of the bond this we are going to calculate 
Ultimate question is regarding calculating the value of the bond. C stands for annual copper interest. So it is given in the problem this bond will carry a copper rate of 12%. So 12% of 100 rupees, 12 rupees is the C value. R is the required rate of return 14%. N period to maturity 8 years in R problem. PVAF present value of annuity factor. Then PVF present value of 1 rupee. And lastly, M is equal to maturity value. So normally maturity value is the face value. The face value of the bond is 100. Now we substitute the values in the formula. See, V is equal to C. How much is the C value we got? 12 rupees. C into PVAF. PVAF. What is the required rate of return? 14%. How many years period to maturity? 8 years. Plus maturity value. The maturity value is 100 rupees. Into PVF 14%. PVF 14% 8 years. That's it. Now we substitute the values and find out the present value of the bond. So V is equal to 12 into Now we require the annuity factor and present value of rupee 1 factor. See, there are two methods of finding out the annuity factor and present value of rupee 1. You can refer to the present value table or you can use the simple calculator to find out the present value. Now, 14% we require for 8 years. So, annuity factor we make use the memory, memory button. We require the memory feature. Now, here, 1 divided by 1.14. So, 14% we will take 1 divided by 1.14. So, here I am typing here. 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to this is the first one value I am putting this value in the memory M I have put it in the memory so one year I have put it in memory now second year second year then is equal to memory 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 8 times I have put that value in the memory. Now recall the memory MRC. It will be 4.639. It will be 4.639. So here I am taking 4.639. Again I repeat once again because this is the first problem. 14%. 14% means 1 divided by 1.14. 14%. Actually the formula is 1 divided by 1 plus R to the power of N. This is the formula to calculate present value factor. Now R ki jaga par 14%. So 1 divided by 1.14. We have divided once. Is equal to. One time we got. Put it in memory. Ek bar memory mein dal diye. Ab second time dalna hai to is equal to marker memory dal. Two times ho gaya. Three times. Four times. Five. Six. 7, 8. Now recall the memory. 4.639. You got the value? 4.639. Annuity factor. A rupee 1 factor. We want the rupee 1 factor also. Same way. 1 divided by 1.14. 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to. Yeah, one time once we got second time we want only is equal to 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 times I have pressed is equal to is equal to so 8 times are here point three, uh, point 0.351 we can take point 0.351 Now, V is equal to. Now, we multiply 12 into 
90.768 or we can write 90.77 90 90.77 That's it. This is the first problem on calculating the value of the bond. Again, I repeat from beginning. You have to remember the formula for the value of the bond is V is equal to C into PVAF R percent N years plus M into PVF R percent N years. So V stands for value of bond. We have to calculate Copan rate problem. Me, har problem me de tha ke bond ke upar every year kya rate of interest rega. That is the Copan rate of interest 12 percent. Required rate of return given in the problem. N is equal to period to maturity 8 years PVAF we have to find out by using the calculator PVF again calculator M maturity value 100 substitute the values here the only thing is you must know how to calculate the annuity factor and PV of rupee 1 factor with the help of calculator so you have to try once twice thrice and automatically you can be able to get the command because in our, in the coming every problem it is required to calculate the annuity factor and uh, pv of rupee one factor you can get from table also but always be ready to find out even if you don't have the uh, i mean table value you can use the calculator to find out the annual value so how do annual value you calculate? calculate karenge? 14 percent 1 divided by 1.14 1 divided by 1.14 is equal to ये एक बार divide कर दिया अब इसको जो है memory में डाल दिया एक बार हो गया अब दूसरी बार memory में डालना फिर is equal to memory फिर is equal to memory is equal to memory eight times you have to put it in memory जब eight time हो गया होने के बाद MRC memory recall and cancellation MRC stands for memory recall and cancellation रिकॉल करने के लिए कैंसिलेशन करने के लिए एक ही बटन है तो पहले एमआरसी दबाते हैं आपको वैल्यू आ जाएगा से 4.639 राइट right? और उसके बाद पीवी ऑफ रुपी 1 मालूम करना है तो मेमोरी यूज नहीं करना वी डोंट रिक्वायर मेमोरी सिंपली यू हैव टू प्रेस इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू लाइक दैट 1 डिवाइडेड बाय 1.14 इज इक्वल टू एक बार वन ईयर आ गया सेकंड ईयर करना है फिर इज इक्वल टू सेकंड ईयर हो गया फिर is equal to third year again is equal to fourth year like that you have to calculate up to eight years because the life of the world is eight years that's it so this is the first problem that's why I have discussed in detail in the coming problem I don't think we have to I mean uh, stress on all this each and every point so take a pause copy it down the complete solution Now, see the problem number two. Second problem. A rupees 1000 par value bond. Par value means face value. Rupees 1000 par value bond bearing a Copan rate of 14% and will mature after five years. The required rate of return on this bond is 13%. What is the value of this bond? The value of bond. Second problem. We have to find out the value of bond. So V is equal to C into PVAF R percent N years plus M into PVF R percent N years. Same formula. 
C is equal to the Copen rate is 14 percent. Fourteen rupees. R is equal to the required rate of return is thirteen percent. N is equal to how many years? Five years. M is equal to maturity value is one thousand. That's it. Now we substitute. V is equal to fourteen P V A F thirteen percent for five years. Plus one thousand face value into PVF thirteen percent five years. <clears throat> now again we have to find out the annuity factor. Kitna percentage hai annuity factor thirteen percent for five years. So thirteen percent ka matlab one divided by one point one three. 1 divided by 1.13 is equal to once I have divided अब इसको memory में डालता हूँ कितने साल five five years तक डालूँ है ये memory में डाल दिया then is equal to memory two times three times four times five is equal to memory is equal to memory is equal to memory five times कर दी अब recall the memory 3.517 3.517 Similarly, 13% 5 years PV of rupee 1 value. So what I am doing? 1 divided by 1.13 is equal to 1 time is equal to 2 time 3 time 4 time 5 time 5 times I have pressed is equal to so 0. 543 0.543 now we multiply 14 into 3.517 1000 into 0.543 543 592 140. This is not 14. This is 140. Sorry. 140. 140 into 3.517. That comes to 492.38. Plus 543. 1035. 1035.38 1035.38 This is the value of the bond. Exactly same procedure we have followed what we have done in the previous problem. C stands for copper interest. 14% of 1000 is 140. C play place for 140. 13% is the required rate of return. 5 years maturity value 1000. That's it. So two problems we have completed. Now problem number 3. A bond of Magnum Limited which has the following features. Rupees 100 par value, Copen rate 14%, years to maturity 6 years. What is the value of the bond when the required rate of return is 14%, 16% and 12%? 3 in 1. A key problem is 3 alag -alag questions. Hai. If the required rate of return 14% then what is the value of the bond? If the required rate of return is 16% what is the value of the bond? And if the required rate of return is 12% then what is the value of the bond? So third problem case 1. Required rate of return. Is required rate of return is 14 percent R is equal to 14 percent then C is equal to uh, 14 percent 140 
then years to maturity n is equal to 6 years and uh, that's it m is equal to face value 1000 So C is equal to 140 into P V A F R. How much is R? 14 percent. N. How many years? Six years. Plus 1000 into P V F. 14 percent. Six years. Fourteen percent six years. Your last problem. This problem I am going to show you how to calculate annuity factor and rupee one. After that, directly I am taking the values. I am not going to explain. So fourteen percent six years. Fourteen percent का मतलब one divided by one point one four. So one divided by one point one four. Fourteen percent हो गया. One divided by one point one four is equal. अब ये memory में डालते हैं हम six years six times. तो ये मेमोरी में डाल दिया मैं m वन टाइम हो गया इज इक्वल टू m टू टाइम थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स अब रिकॉल द मेमोरी थ्री पॉइंट एट एट नाइन थ्री पॉइंट एट एट नाइन ओवर इमीडिएटली आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग क्लियर द मेमोरी रिमेंबर क्योंकि वो मेमोरी को क्लियर नहीं करेंगे बाद में फिर कैलकुलेट करेंगे तो योर कैलकुलेशन विल गो रॉन्ग सो एज सुन एज यू हैव कैलकुलेटेड द एन्यूटी फैक्टर इमीडिएटली क्लियर द मेमोरी सेकेंड टाइम एमआरसी प्रेस करिए मेमोरी क्लियर हो जाएगी राइट नाउ फोर्टीन परसेंट वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट वन फोर इज इक्वल टू वन टाइम हो गया फिर इज इक्वल टू टू टाइम थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स ईयर्स तो 0.456 और अब 140 Completed. We have completed the first part. V is equal to value of the bond is one thousand point four six. Now case two. If the required rate of return is, what is the second case? It is asking you sixteen uh, percent. V is equal to 140 into PVAF 16% 6 years plus 1000 into PVF 16% 6 years. Now 16% 6 years annuity factor. 3.685 and 16% 6 years PV rupee of rupee 1 0 0.410 if you multiply 140 into 3 point Taken wrongly, fourth problem. Par value is hundred rupees. So it is four hundred. This is also hundred.
फोर्टीन परसेंट सिक्स इयर्स फोर्टीन परसेंट सिक्स इयर्स थ्री पॉइंट एट एट नाइन एंड फोर्टीन परसेंट सिक्स इयर्स इज पॉइंट फोर फाइव सिक्स सो फोर्टीन इंटू थ्री पॉइंट एट एट नाइन इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी फोर पॉइंट फोर फोर सिक्स Here it is forty five point six. Fifty four point four four six plus forty five point six. It comes to hundred point zero four six. Right? Here also it is fourteen. Hundred. So fourteen into three point six eight five, fifty one point five nine, plus forty one point six, ninety three point one nine. Sixteen percent six years. It is four one zero, not four one six. Forty one. Forty one plus fifty one point five nine comes to. Ninety two point five nine. Ninety two point five nine. That's all. So two parts we have completed. Case one and case two. Now we have to do the case three. if the required rate of return is 12% yes it is 12% r is equal to 12% v is equal to 14 into pvaf 12% for 6 years 100 into pvf Twelve percent six years. Now, twelve percent. So twelve percent six years. If you calculate, you'll get four point one one one. उसी तरह twelve percent six years zero point five zero seven. Five zero seven. Now, if you multiply fourteen into four point one one one, fifty seven point five five four plus fifty point seven, so V is equal to one not eight point two five. That's all. So three cases are there. If the required rate of return is fourteen percent, this is the value. If the required rate of return is sixteen percent, this is the value. If the required rate of return twelve percent, this is the value. By solving this problem, the theorem, the theorems will get proved. What is the first theorem? Bond price theorem. The first theorem says if the required rate of return and the coupon rate both are equal, then face value and market value of the bond will be equal. Will be same. तो कोपन रेट और रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न दोनों एक ही अगर है तो फिर फेस वैल्यू ऑफ बॉन्ड और मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ बॉन्ड दोनों भी सेम हो जाएंगे प्रूव हो गया रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न 14 परसेंट है कोपन रेट 14 परसेंट है सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द बॉन्ड वी गॉट 100.046 तो हंड्रेड इज वेरी वेरी नियर टू हंड्रेड ओनली हंड्रेड इज द फेस वैल्यू तो फर्स्ट थियोरम प्रूव इफ द कोपन रेट एंड द रिक्वायर्ड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न बोथ आर इक्वल Then face value of the bond and market value of the bond will be same. हो गया. Second, required rate of return sixteen percent. If the required rate.